Hey besties, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jada Simone and you're watching Jada's channel. Besties, first off, happy fall. If you know, then you know that fall is my favorite season. October is my favorite month. Happy October, y'all. I just love fall because you could really put that ish on if you know what I mean. If you know, you know. But you can also do a lot with fragrance combinations, layering, and honestly, truly, my favorite scents just may be like the warm, cozy, fall, winter scents. So I wanted to show you guys what I will be smelling like this fall. So if you guys want to know what I'll be wearing, just keep on watching. So the first fragrance I want to talk about is this Billie Eilish Eilish number no. one. This is the first fragrance that Billie Eilish dropped and it is such a good vanilla. Because I'm such a stand for Kylie's Vanilla 28, when I first smelled this, I was like, mm, okay. I had to realize every vanilla should not be the same. And if it is the same, something is wrong. So this vanilla to me is very fresh. It's very like warm cashmere. It is sweet like a vanilla should be because obviously it's vanilla, but it is very warm it has a little spice in it a little amber y'all this has definitely become my everyday scent for the fall time mm, so freaking good and this bottle y'all this bottle is gorgeous the bottle is so good she, billy really did her thing with this so pretty this fragrance is so perfect for layering i usually put this down first and layer anything else on top of it or it's really good to top off a fragrance if you feel like your fragrance is missing like a sweet element a warm element this is really good so i definitely do recommend this so the next fragrance i have is eilish number one sister eilish number two she is cute she definitely gives she's very warm and spicy but very woody and aromatic so i feel like these billy eilishes be really having to grow on me because when i first smelled this i was in ulta with my mom i sprayed it and i was like ew what is that i didn't like it at all my mom didn't like it but the more i smelled it the more i was like hmm this is really good for layering if you want that extra aromatic warm spicy to add to a scent like if you have something like really really sweet really floral really fruity you want to throw this on top it will blend perfectly and honestly these two together are a match made in heaven she's really sweet and warm she's more woody put them together and you create your own scent i really feel like these were meant to be a pair so if you're into more woody warm masculine scents i definitely recommend this so this next scent is amber oud it is an arabian scent and fun fact y'all this is my first arabian scent shout out to my man because he actually gifted this to me oh my goodness this has become my signature y'all can't see but there's a huge dent in this bottle like when i wear this it doesn't matter where i am i get stopped and people are like what the heck are you wearing you just smell so good and it's crazy because when i first spray it on me i smell it and i'm like oh, okay like it's cool i just think it's cool like i just think it's like a cool calm everyday scent like you know it is what it is and then throughout the day i don't smell it on myself but people think this really smells delicious and amazing and if you want something that won't give you a headache where you're not smelling it all throughout the day you're not smelling really loud on yourself but other people can smell you and they give you compliments i definitely recommend this but this scent is a little different for me for fall winter this scent is very sweet and fruity but it does have like the warm amber vanilla woody musky notes so that's why i really really like this so if you want something cheap and affordable and you want to break next definitely recommend her next up is my girl twilly opari and i don't even think i pronounced this right I, I honestly don't think i pronounced this right but oh well it's french so correct me down in the comments if you speak french but guys this twilly i've smelled other twillies and they smell beautiful but this twilly she was made for the fall and the winter time she comes alive in the fall and winter time like can't nobody tell her nothing she's so 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 warm and spicy and i love her because she's so simple she only has three notes pink pepper rose and patchouli so simple but y'all i love this scent it's so intoxicating and and it honestly may not be everyone's cup of tea it definitely is mine y'all know my fragrance palette is very very broad so this is more grown and sexy date day date night definitely would only wear this during the colder months this definitely gives me like vineyard vibes apple picking cute long maxi dress with the bust down inches a cute boot like this is definitely your girl oh my goodness Mm. every time i smell it again for not smelling it for months 
it reminds me just how much I love this scent, guys. I am so obsessed with this scent. So I definitely recommend. Very mature. Like I said, it's not everybody's cup of tea. But if you are mature, if you like mature scents, definitely recommend her. She's very, very pink peppercorn and patchouli heavy. So next one on the list is Dolce and Gabbana, the only one. Now she is strictly for date night for me. She is very, very, very sweet, like overly sweet. She's not like the Amber Oud where one, like once you spray it on yourself, you don't smell it. Like you're going to smell her. You're going to smell her all night. She's so sweet, but men love sweet scents. But I really like her because she has that coffee note. So it kind of balances out the sweetness. The coffee kind of gives it that like smooth bitterness and then of course she's warm and spicy because duh it's fall she has a hint of powderiness to her but the sweetness really comes from the caramel the caramel and vanilla really bring the sweetness out of this but the caramel oh it's giving sweet tooth like it's giving toothache sweet like it's so sweet but i love her so much this is really good to layer with that eyelash number two to bring it more like woody and grounded a little more but she's really great all by herself i definitely definitely recommend this if if you have a hot date coming up girl go get you a sample size at sephora something because you need this so my next fragrance recommendation is actually one of my favorites she is an og in my collection if you watch all of my like fall winter fragrance recommendations she's probably in all of them and she is killian princess y'all look at the bottle first of all i got the og bottle they don't even sell this bottle no more oh my goodness and when i run out of this i'm gonna get the new one and just refill it into this bottle because how could you not y'all know i'm a true fragrance collector so the girls who know know and the girls who don't get it y'all just simply do not get it maybe you're a little too young but i love killian princess this is such a perfect go-to she can be day or night she's very warm very sweet she's a delicious gourmand and she only has three notes like she's so simple she's that girl she's literally a princess she walks in she commands her respect i get so many compliments when i wear this it's just three simple notes marshmallow matcha green tea and ginger the marshmallow obviously gives it that sweet fluffiness that everybody loves about this scent and then the ginger the ginger and that matcha green tea oh it just like i don't know it just does something like i love when my fragrances have very peculiar or just different notes the ginger and the matcha i don't think any of my other fragrances have ginger or matcha in them so i love her she's perfect for date night going out with the girls spending time with the fam any holiday she's perfect as a signature scent and at one point she used to be my signature scent so i think i might go back to her i don't know i don't know i love her so much like y'all definitely recommend so since that last one was an oldie but goodie we have a newbie that i added to my collection and it is her killian angels share y'all don't know how bad i've been wanting this i think i've been wanting it since kyra came out and like spoke about it maybe like two three years ago and i was like yep she's on my list but she's so expensive she's so expensive but finally i bit the bullet finally got her and she is just everything y'all she is everything if you want to smell like a warm apple pie for the holidays <laughs> get her everybody will be asking you what you have on you can lie or you can tell them the truth and put them on but she is really that girl she's sweet but not too sweet she's warm and spicy and woody there's a little bit of like cinnamon in there praline almond so she's a little nutty which i feel like that's why she smells like an apple pie like a true apple pie all the sweetness all the nuttiness and then she got a cognac note y'all that's why she smells so boozy so delicious so intoxicating like you can get drunk off this scent it just smells so good so yeah i definitely recommend her if you have a little bit of coin to spend or if not definitely get the travel the travel size is probably the same amount as like a 1.7 ounce fragrance that's how expensive she is but she's definitely worth it she will be in your collection and turn heads so my next fragrance is also another newbie to the collection and she is actually a fragrance oil. She's not a perfume spray, but it is this Carby Musk Rollerball by Better World Fragrance House. Y'all know Drake's brand. If you know, you know, they don't just sell candles. They sell this rollerball and his signature scent. And when I first smelled it, I was like, hmm, this is really light. It's really skin like. But then the more you wear it, the more it grows on you. Guys, I literally wear this every single day. 
every day so a little bit definitely goes a long way but i am so obsessed with this i put this on every single day after a shower at night in the morning layering it with everything like this is the first thing i put down on my body and it lasts all day it gets on your clothes your clothes smell good even in the hamper for days this is so good i definitely recommend if you're into fragrance oils definitely look into this it's definitely a warm skin like musk so if you're not into fragrances that are too sweet too fruity too floral definitely try this out and it is unisex so that's what i really really love about it i got my boyfriend one i got my mom one my dad one everybody loves this scent like like all the people in my life rave about this scent so I definitely recommend you look into it and last but certainly not least is one of my faves she is an OG as well but she is one of my faves she is YSL Libre the original formula I definitely want to try the other Libres but this right here this girl she takes the cake like she's the star of the show this is strictly my date night scent fall winter date night scent when i wear this my man is like oh my gosh you just smell so good spray a little bit in your hair on the back of the ankles on the back of the knees just all over and when <laughs> y'all that's all i gotta say is y'all this fragrance just smells like money like money like billions and billions and billions and billions of dollars old money at that i love this thing it just smells like girl boss grown woman <sighs> oh my goodness i actually need to get a bigger one like i put a pretty large dent in this i also have a travel size this is really my girl it's a white floral and citrusy but it's also very warm and woody and that's why it works it's just very very warm very sexy very seductive very cozy so if you haven't already go out and smell this because i guarantee you're going to want to buy it so besties that is all for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed all of my fall fragrance recommendations i hope you guys head out to your nearest ulta sephora perfume store in the mall and sniff these give them a try try the little sample size try a travel spray shoot even buy the full size because that's how much i really recommend these scents and y'all know your fragrance bestie will never ever ever steer you wrong in the comments below tell me what you guys are wearing this fall and winter season because i'm definitely curious i want to what my besties are smelling like maybe y'all can give me some recommendations and i can go out and spend me some money <laughs> especially because the winter sephora savings event is coming up so i'll give me a little 20 percent off while i still splurge on some new fragrances but i thank you guys so so much for watching and i'll see y'all in the next one bye